Bronny James is following in his father's footsteps, not only in basketball, but in business too. And it's turned him into the highest paid high school NIL player in the country. What would you do with that kind of money? Olivia Dunn may use her wealth towards bettering herself as an athlete, but that hasn't stopped her from posing in pictures alongside a Jeep Wrangler worth 60,000 bucks. These are the richest college athletes. Bronny James was born for this. He's been playing ball with his dad, LeBron James, from the time he was a kid. Bronny played for the Sierra Canyon School in Los Angeles, where he graduated May 25, 2023. His father was watching proudly from the audience, of course. We imagine LeBron was probably just as proud to hear his son was going to be joining the Trojan family at USC. We're excited to see where this next chapter of his life brings him. As it is, Bronny is already pulling in 7.2 million bucks in earnings. This makes him the highest paid high school NIL player in the country. We've mentioned that before, but it definitely deserves a celebration. Alongside Olivia Dunn's social media success. As it turns out, Bronny is also following in his father's footsteps in another way, by accepting an NIL deal with Nike, and that definitely makes sense for him, as Bronny himself pointed out, quote, for as long as I can remember, Nike's been a part of my family. He also has deals in place with Beats by Dre and PSD Underwear, and you can tell he's just getting started. Olivia Dunn is a little different from the rest. Plenty of entries on this list were born into riches, like Bronny James and Arch Manning, but Livy seems to be entirely self-made. As a member of the LSU Tigers women's gymnastics team, she has $3.5 million in NIL deals, which actually make her the highest-earning collegiate gymnast in history, beating out SUNY Lee's record by $2.1 million. And that isn't even all Livy has going for her. Her social media game is definitely one to watch. She's the most followed college athlete on social media, and it isn't just because of her gymnastics skills that we're all watching. She's enough of a style icon that it makes perfect sense for her to have deals with Forever 21, American Eagle Outfitters, and Too Faced Cosmetics. She also has NIL deals with ESPN and Grubhub, proving she's one smart businesswoman. You already know the name Manning. It's even more famous than our name is, although if you'd like to help change that, we'd really appreciate it if you could help us out by clicking on that subscribe button. Arch Manning is son to Cooper Manning and the grandson of former professional football quarterback Archie Manning, which makes him third-generation American football royalty. Arch definitely made a name for himself playing high school-level football at the Isidore Newman School, where he completed his freshman year with 2,407 yards and 34 touchdowns. He's committed to playing for the University of Texas in 2023. And although he's refused to sign any deals until he gets to start playing more regularly, the quarterback is already worth $2.8 million. This advice apparently came to Arch from his uncle, retired NFL star Eli Manning, who suggested he should, quote, go earn it first before you start taking all this money. That sounds like good advice to us. And considering he's still earning more than fellow quarterback Caleb Williams, even though he actually has deals, we think he's doing just fine for himself. In all honesty, Caleb Williams isn't doing too bad either. He started out playing at Oklahoma in 2021, ending his freshman season with 1,912 yards and 21 touchdowns. But he later transferred to USC to follow head coach Lincoln Riley, who Caleb feels is very important towards his, quote, professional development. Travis Hunter also transferred schools for a similar reason, but we'll get into that more in a little bit. Caleb has been pulling in $2.6 million a year and making some pretty smart business moves along the way. It makes perfect sense for him to be a partial owner of the men's grooming brand, Faculty, considering his mom is a nail technician. And he himself has dabbled in nail art in the past, inspired by artists like ASAP Rocky and Little Yachty. Caleb's clearly a huge fan of music, which is part of the reason why he agreed to a deal with Beats by Dre. Caleb's partnership with Fanatics Authentic gives fans the chance to buy autographed memorabilia from him, and he also has deals with the Athletic Brewing Company, AT&T, Neutrogena, and AC and Ion Water. Caleb follows a careful process in deciding which deals he wants to take. If any of them distract from school or football, or if they don't, quote, serve a specific purpose in Caleb's portfolio, then they're out. Travis Hunter knows as well as Caleb the importance of a good head coach. He started out his college football career playing with a scholarship from Florida State in 2019. 
and yet he made what would come to be referred to as, quote, probably the most shocking decision in the history of college football recruiting in 2021 when he unexpectedly flipped his commitment from Florida State to Jackson State. The school wasn't even listed as a possibility for Travis on his ESPN scouting page, and yet he decided to make the move so he could be coached by Deion Sanders. Travis even decided to transfer to the University of Colorado in 2022 after hearing that Sanders would be leaving for the head coaching position there. These two are pretty much inseparable, and Sanders has helped to coach Travis into becoming the massive superstar he is today. Travis is earning $1.7 million a year, mostly because of his NIL deals, of which he has a lot. He serves as an ambassador for the Michael Strahan brand, and he also has a partnership with Greenwood, a digital banking platform that was made with Black and Latino people in mind as well as entrepreneurs, which certainly makes Travis a perfect fit. Travis offers a product line through So Hoodie that uses the slogan, I'm him, and all this is just the beginning. With NIL deals that include Next Trend, Waterland Co., Phil Long Ford, Actively Black, and Celsius Drink, Travis is not only an athlete, but a businessman to watch. Whether they're taking Arch Manning's approach and declining NIL deals, or pushing forward their own brand on TikTok like Olivia Dunn, these college athletes are definitely ones to watch. Which one of these earnings were you most surprised to hear about? Are there any other up-and-comers we should be keeping an eye on? Don't forget to let us know what you think down in the comments section.